you know, welcome to the farm. You're with me, Felix Mbewe, aka Bonambeo. Today I'm going to show you how we plant cabbages and how we feed them using drip irrigation. So we're doing 5,000 heads of cabbage for the first start, then we're going to do in total 20,000 cabbages in this portion of land, which is slightly more than an hectare. So, so many things that I'll discuss with you, how to grow cabbages, as well as how to use drip irrigation as the most effective way of watering your plants. And as well, I might uh, delve into mulching and its essence. You can look out for more of my videos where I've discussed about mulching in more detail. So let's see how our cabbage has been transplanted and how it's doing so far. So it's grown and here's a mulch, still planting. Going on, I'll walk through and show you how it is. Then I'll explain more about how it's done. So first of all, this is called drip irrigation because of the water is dropping and feeding its crop. It's effective and efficient because you maximize on water use. You only get water specifically on a particular crop that you are interested in. For instance, you can see this particular cabbage feeds on this water. You don't need to waste this water by sprinkling everywhere pouring water everywhere. So we are saving on the course. So these are the only portions that are wet where the crops are. So you need to use such methods of watering and save and conserve water. See how amazing and how effective it is. Still, it's too long. You see, when long. you pull it, well, it's still loose on the other side. So it can, it can do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Better that way.
So how to grow your cabbages? You need to understand a few things. Cabbages need enough uh, nutrition, that is enough manure or fertilizer, mostly the basal dressing. It's a very high feeder in terms of water. It needs a lot of water. So when you're using drip irrigation, you maximize on the amount of water that you have meaning you water your cabbage with a specific amount of water. Then, there is also one critical part, which is to do with pests. So pest control becomes another issue that you should take into consideration, because there will be a lot of insects and other uh, predators wanting to feed onto your cabbages. So you need to understand the area, the region, and the kinds of uh, insects or pests that affect or eat your cabbage. Then, remember that also the amount of sunlight that they get also matters. The spacing in between the rows and between the crops themselves as well, that is also essential. At least it should be one foot apart and between 70 to one meter, 70 centimeters to one meter in between the rows. That is also good. Then weeding, in terms of herb control, I always prefer that you use a mulch in order to control the herbs or the weeds in your fields. Unlike a situation where you're using herbicides or chemicals to kill the weeds. Because that way you protect the humans and other living organisms and even generally other pests that do not affect your crops. They are needed for the eco-balance. You also need... Um, to know how to apply the fertilizers or the manure that you have for your cabbage fields. Then consistently be checking on how they are doing, pluck out the ones which are dying out, replace the ones that didn't do well, and get to learn every day, guys. It's easy when you practice. You realize that cabbage growing is one of the easiest things to do, but you need to do it professional and effective so that you can have a good turn on in terms of germination, yield, and harvest. So you've been with me, Felix Mbewa. Look out for more videos to see more agriculture-related stuff that I talk about, most importantly about crops, and how you can maximize using materials within the farm. And um, with little capital or investment, but yet you get to make or harvest more. That way you see that agriculture is more profitable and is a good venture for your money. So see you around. I'll show you the progress of how this field will be doing. Thank you so much, guys. It's good to have you. Keep watching, keep subscribing, keep commenting. Let's chat. Bye-bye.